What is up guys, it is Dave Mack from Strangers Media and today we are going to be talking about how to take a shot from looking like this to this with little to no effort at all. Let's get into it. So today we are talking about lighting. Um, as is the case with a lot of art, a lot of videography, a lot of photography, lighting is going to be something that is subjective. There is not necessarily a right way or a wrong way to do any of this. What it comes down to is what you personally enjoy. That being said, there are a few things you can do which are sort of in line with that cinematic look we see in Hollywood all the time. So for today's setup, um, we're just going to go over a very basic one that gives you a little bit of a nice shadow fall off. It only involves two lights. So first thing we have here is our key light, which is situated just over here at about a 45 degree angle. Uh, the lights that I have are... I believe they're newer panel lights. I don't know the exact model. I just bought them off of a friend of mine who was who was selling them. But I have one of those set up at a little bit of a higher angle, again, 45 degrees with a diffusion sheet over top of it. Now, for those of you who are saying, I don't have a diffusion sheet, I don't have these fancy lights, to pull this off, you don't actually need that. And to prove that, I will show you guys right here. The setup I have is not actually a diffusion sheet. It is a sheet that I bought at a local craft store that essentially it's just translucent in nature, lets a little bit of light through. But again, the whole point of that diffusion sheet is to soften that light source so it's not as harsh, so we're not getting those big bright spots in our highlights, so I'm not looking blown out or overexposed or anything like that. The key thing being it is a big bright source that falls across my face nicely. On the other side, obviously, we have a absence of light. We have our shadows. So that shadow is what you're seeing on this side which is what's going to give you that depth to the image. Again, the light coming here, softly, gradually falling off. Behind me, I have another one of these panel lights. I personally love using color in my work, a lot of these RGB lights. So that's, again, what I have here. It is the same panel, just set to a different setting. Essentially, I have set it to the blue setting, lighting up the background, giving me a little bit of separation from that background. Blue was chosen strategically to help separate me from my background. Having the complexion that I do, the skin tone that I do, you get a lot of oranges, a lot of reds, a lot of yellows that come out. Blue being on the other side of that color wheel separates the two and again makes me pop from that background. As a second thing, it's also lighting up the background to reduce the shadow that I'm getting across here. So super simple, two lights. You don't have to use color, but it's kind of a fail, kind of just something that, that I like to do personally. If you don't have the means to do it, don't worry about that. You don't actually need that. The two things are, again, that 45 degree light coming in, soft light source falling off across my face, giving me a little bit of shadow here. And then that fell light in the back. Again, just to reiterate, I choose blue because it's just something I like to do stylistically, but you do not have to do that. As you can see, there's nothing overly fancy about my setup. It is very basic. And though there are a million different ways to doing it, this is the one that I like to go with, and I hope you enjoy it too. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you soon.